This has never happened. Uh, really, but we are having a conversation on stage. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. Okay. Look at the place we are. It's one of the most special places in the world, I would say, because like uh, Devlika put, there's so much of love, so much of humanity, and so much going on in this place. And this was the most unique thing about Slumdog Marina and the whole world with this stuff. So I'm so happy to come back here where uh, it was the central point of the success, I would say, for Slumdog Marina. Being here is so important and iconic for us. Thank you. Um, so yeah, today I'm supposed to interview you, but I thought I'd slightly change the format. So, with all due respect and humility, the world sees you for your awards and accomplishments. But for me, I think the most important thing that you've done as a father uh, is the values you've taught us. So, what I want to talk to you, say is that your humility matters the most for me. Not an atom of your character has changed ever since you won the Oscars. Ten years back and now you're still the same. It's just that maybe the time you've spent with us has reduced. But I think you're making it up now <laughs> by taking us on short trips. So one more thing which I want to say is I'm deeply inspired by your generosity. Although we do a lot of initiatives through the foundation, there are a lot of things which you do which you don't tell us. And I come to know through third persons that, oh, your dad's done this and I'm like, okay. I don't know. So what you give in your right hand, your left hand doesn't know. And I think you're the perfect example for that. I think this is something which I value my father for the most than the awards or anything which he has got. And the third thing is your sensitivity and your respect towards people. You don't value people for their background or anything. It's the character you, which matters and the work which they do. So this important thing which I learned is pay the laborer his wages before his sweat dries. So this is something which my father follows. I'm so proud to say that. He follows the prophet. Prophet peace be upon him. So I think this is something which I'm deeply inspired than all the awards or anything which he has won. And what advice would you like to give us in future? Because all three of us are starting our careers. So if you could tell us that would be really great and for the rest of the people to take back home today. Um, I don't know, actually I thought you were going to ask me a question. <laughs> um, I don't give advices. I think when you grow up, when, when all three of you grew up, I made, it, made sure that I um, teach you all the things I learned when I grew up, what my mom taught me. And now you need to follow your heart and your instincts and pray to God and He'll guide you. And your heart is the best thing, your conscience is the best thing which can guide you. Thank you so much. So one last thing. <laughs> this is going to be a little awkward. <laughs> so um, 10 years back, exactly 10 years back from now, what happened was um, we were video calling my dad and he was getting ready for the Oscars. <laughs> so I told him, don't come back home without the award. But then it got misinterpreted. He thought I didn't want him to come back home. But what I meant was he's surely going to win the award and he's surely going to come back home. So are you offended by that because I didn't confront you after that? No, 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 it was fine because I was anyway in a daze that time. Okay. But I was thinking, why is this girl so cruel to me? No. <laughs> But now I understood. Thank you. Thank you for the clarification. Okay. Thank you so much.